Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Payroll System tutorial, I'll talk about maintain contribution. Basically, just go to SQL, Payroll on top, Maintenance, you can see Maintain Contribution. By default, we already set a default contribution for you. When you double click in, this is the contribution following the government rules. Example, for EPF, employees rate is 11%, employer rate is 12%. You can see that it's A stands for auto. But let's say the employee wages for money is less than 5,000, then employer should be 13%. So that's why we put A, meaning that for certain employee that is lower than 5,000 wages, it will follow 13. More than that, it follow 12%. And working days per month, we set 26 days. Working hours per day is 8 hours. For PCB calculations, anyone that is using a payroll software need to follow computerized calculations. This is a rule by Lumbagger. But just in case you do not want to follow, you want to follow the table, then what you can do is change the setting to schedule table formula. Then there's one more place here is under more. This is the contributions. Bonus need to contribute to EPF and also PCB, but this PCB is a bit different. It's called PCB ad hoc. The calculations formula is a bit different. By right, you should follow this one. Director fees is also subject to this one. Pay leave is subject to all these things. Then it should go to EA. Just in case you do not want to follow, then basically what you need to do is you can just add it and untick. For example, bonus, you don't want to pay EPF just in case. Okay, you just untick. So this is how the standard format should look like. But after you save it, let's say Let's say you have a uh, special contributions. Maybe the simplest way is the boss. Okay, for employer contributions, the boss want to contribute maximum nineteen percent instead of twelve percent. So what you need to do is you can cr create a new contribution. Click on the new. Then maybe you set this as management. description of support management over here the employer rate instead of auto then you put 19 percent remember you must put in the percentage sign if not if you only put 19 it will be 19 ringgit then it will be wrong so set 19 click save so what will happen is now you have two different contributions scheme and the usage is under maintain employees. Go to that particular employees edit. And when you go to payroll info for contributions, now you're able to select the contribution scheme that you have created. Maybe management because this is management and he will contribute 19% for employer side for the EPF contributions. So setting done under payroll, maintenance, maintain contribution, and selection done under human resource, maintain employee. So basically this is how to maintain the contribution in SQL payroll system. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies.